Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and I want something sweet. Pardon for my lighting, I don't have all of them on, and it is nighttime, so I'm not having the sun from my window. Anyway, uh, hopefully it's going to be a little quickie for something that will knock your socks off. So we're going to get to it right away. I've got two sticks of butter that I've melted in the microwave. That equal, that's one cup. I'm using unsalted. I've got a cup of brown sugar. It doesn't matter, light or dark. I have three quarters cup of just regular uh, pure cane sugar. I have three large eggs. I have a tablespoon of vanilla extract. In this bowl, I have two and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour. And in this, if you can see it, nope, you're not going to be able to see the difference, but trust me, I'll point to it as I'm talking. I have two teaspoons of cornstarch. I have a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. I have a cup of chopped pecans. And this is, say hello to my little friend. You will love this, but you must wait till I mix it up. All right, let's get to making some blandes. By the way, preheat your oven at 350. I actually remember to say it, can you believe it? Of course, you know, everything's always going to be down here in the description below. All right, like I said, let's make some blondes. Okay, right now I don't need the pecans. I'm going to just set them to the side. And you notice I have two bowls. Obviously, I've got my dry. I'm going to put my dry in one, my wet in the other. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to add my eggs. And I'll give them a little whisk. That's my yolks. And I'll do that better in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add in my vanilla extract. All right. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm adding in my sugars. Brown sugar. Pure cane sugar. Cornstarch, baking powder, and salt. Cornstarch likes to hang. There we go. All right, move that out of the way. Well, I guess I should have done this side first, but it won't matter. It's eventually going to be all mixed together, so. Okay, bakers. I'm not a baker, okay? I did it. It's a done deal. <laughs> yes, I pulled my whisk from the egg mixture. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Yes, she did it. Okay. I've given that a pretty good little whisk there. All right. Now we're going to go back to the wet. So here we go. It's not going to take much. That was pretty easy. I mean, if you want to use a mixer, you can. Don't need to for this. And y'all know I have arthritis, so if I can do this, you can do this. And I have terrible arthritis in my hands. All right. Clean up as I go, folks. All right, now I'm going to give this a mix. And for time constraint, I'm going to do this and I'll come back, okay? It is going to take me a minute. It's a whisk, but it will come together pretty quick. See you in a minute. That barely took me a minute. And I did go ahead and switch to my rubber spatula. Well, I guess they're not rubber anymore. Uh, that's the, y'all know I make my own brown sugar. That's just little bitty tiny flecks of, uh, molasses, in case you're wondering, it doesn't hurt a thing. All right, so this is mixed up well, and in go pecans. And no, I haven't forgotten my little friend. The nuts are optional, but to me, they just... Put it over the top. Home run. I'll let it stir it out. Okay, as you can see, I just sprayed Pam in my, kind of a little thick right there. That was the end of my can, and I had to open a new can to finish spraying it, but it kind of got a little too thick there. And in it goes. I'm terrible. I got to tell you all this pet peeve of mine. You ever watch anybody bake anything? I don't mean just YouTube. I'm just talking about in general. 
even on a TV show, and they don't have the right stuff. And, and y'all know I don't use fancy stuff. And they just won't go to the drawer and get one of these. And you know they're a dime a dozen. When I've been broke, I always had one. It didn't matter. It's always just something. If you've got a well equipped kitchen, you've got one. And they have a, like a, some kind of like leftover fork or something. And they don't scrape out their bowl good. And they're just wasting stuff, leaving it in there. And they're like, oh, well. They set it to the side, never to be seen again. Anyway. That's terrible, isn't it? That's it, folks. As you can see, I just evenly spread it through, and it's going in that 350-degree oven for in between. Well, let me see which one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you're straight. Look at that. Uh, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. I'd start checking at 24, 25 minutes. And remember, if you stick a butter knife in there or a skewer or a toothpick, if it comes out clean, it's done. So when I bring you back, these will be miraculously done and cooling, ready to go in a cooling rack. Okay, I'll see you in almost half an hour. Er, hold the phone. All that teasing y'all about what I had. Look what I've got. Now, you can use whatever you like. You don't have to put this on there at all. Totally optional. Uh, you can use milk chocolate morsels. You can use semi-sweet morsels. You can just do whatever you want to. Dark chocolate. Whatever's your favorite. White chocolate even, since they're blondies if you want to. But you know what I've got? I keep some chopped up in my freezer. You know, if my sons don't discover it, that I've got them. This is just old school chopped up Hershey bar. That's all. That's all that is. You can kind of just throw it on there like you want to. I don't go overboard, but I, I, I make it, whoops, I'll have to pick that up more. Of course, y'all know, I've already told you my table's always clean. It's beat up, but clean. I always scrub it off before I do anything. All right, look at that. And I still have some. I might have to make something else. All right, now I'll see you in about half an hour. Oh, yes. Would you look at this? It is gorgeous. It was about 27 minutes for me. And now I'm going to let it cool for about 15 minutes. So I'm not going to cut it on camera. No reason to. You know, I'm going to cut it down the middle and shoot, 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 shoot like that. Okay, so I will show you one on a saucer so you can decide if you want to make some blondies too. Whoo, y'all. You got to look at that. Look at that. I zoomed in for y'all. Look at this. I'm going to show you. I did it with that one. I'm going to show you on camera. Look at this. So moist. That is so good. A little bit of pecan and chocolate and every bite. And there y'all have it. Y'all know I love you, but it's time for some sweetness. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.